Ah, uh, great. I started off muted and the game didn't work. That's already a great start, but whatever. Welcome back to Wildcard Wednesdays, where the Timbaland Institute plays whatever it feels like. And tonight, I, Mark, the man behind the curtain, feel like playing Hearts of Iron 4 for a number of reasons. Mostly, I, I've always liked this game. But, uh, oh, we already got some followers happening. Thank you very much, Tequila Hombre. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, I've been meaning to play this game. I've been listening to a podcast on dictators, which, you know, gets you in the Hearts of Iron 4 mood. And uh, I don't know, I always play as the Soviet Union, like every single time I am the Soviet Union, and I always just never do anything else. So I figured I'd try and do uh, something else. And Turkey. I don't know much about Turkey in the 1930s, 40s, so I don't know, it seemed like an interesting choice. And there is some new DLC that just came out uh, a few months ago. So, yeah, I don't know. It seemed like an interesting uh, uh, way to go. But, before we get into this, I want to start with a Twitch poll on a very critical issue that, as we speak, is uh, dividing Gerstengrad against itself. Man, what a night. So, I'm going to put the situation out to you. I was lucky enough to snab a 3090 graphics card whatever the hell, Asus or something, I don't know, one of, the, one of those new fancy suckers, right? Um, and then, fast forward to today, a box arrives, and I have to sign for it and do all these things, and on it, it says 3080, and I'm like, oh, that's, that's interesting, it's probably my 3090, and they just put 3080 because it's probably like the same graphics card family or whatever, my question is, if you got that box, would you have opened it? Uh, I'm gonna actually, <laughs> I'm gonna make a Twitch poll out of this. <laughs> uh, would you open the box? Yes. No. Okay, yes, clearly winning already. This is all I need to see. All right, the yeses has it. I, th I think it's clear that yes is the winning answer. Because here's what happened. Apparently that box was for my roommate, and if I had turned over all the different sides of the box, I would have seen that her name was on it. And in fact, it wasn't even a 3080. They had used that box and put a smaller box inside of it for some reason. Like, I don't, I don't know what the hell happened. But, uh, yeah. So my roommate has been saying, oh, I'm not mad, Mark. I just think it's interesting that you open someone else's mail. But, like, what a coincidence. They send her the thing in the wrong box, which is the thing that I just ordered. I feel like we've already gotten off track. This has very little to do with the Ottoman Empire. But what is the point of having a Twitch channel if you can't use it to settle disputes with your roommate? All right, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's get into the Ottoman Empire, shall we? Okay, I should also start off by saying that I'm not the strongest uh, Hearts of Iron 4 player. I don't really understand the nuances of division building and all that stuff, so... Maybe when we get to that point I can ask Twitch chat about it, but... Uh, my strategy is to usually get into a point where, by the time war is declared, I've already won. Because of political drama and, and such. Whatever. Okay, so... Turkey. From the ashes of the Ottoman Empire, the Republic of Turkey was born. Turkish independence was won with blood and bullets in the national campaign of 1923. And while the struggle was, a, was righteous, the cost continues to weigh heavily upon the Turkish people. Religious conservatives plague the hinterlands and resist nationwide modernization efforts in the strongest terms, while Kurdish nationalists wreak havoc in the east of the country. Lionized President Mustafa Kemal Atürk must unite the country or pass the uh, torch to a leader who can, and they must do it soon as trouble stirs in Europe. Okay, so... Yeah, okay. I mean, I just want to restore the Ottoman Empire. Is that so... Is that so hard? Probably. Okay, so let's do it to it. Yeah, uh, yes, we'll let the AI change colors. All right, so Turkey, Turkey, what do we got? We got... Kemalist officers, eh? The Turkish officer corps are some of the staunchest protectors of Kemalist... Ke Kemalist? 
values. Kemalism remains challenged as an ideology, but the officer corps stand ready to assist the government in all manners concerning the protection of the state. What is Kemal Kemalism? I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Uh, sectarian woes. Turkey is beset by internal divisions that are drawn across ideological, religious, and ethnic lines. The Kemalists hope to turn Turkey into a secular... secular, secular they don't want to have religion, but there is a large percentage of the population who are fundamentally opposed to the very concept of secularism. In the East, they occurred... Okay, I think we've kind of read all of this stuff. So the, the country is kind of not doing so great. And it's organized armed forces. I think that's one explains itself. Uh, so we don't know what we're doing. Man, this is uh, heading close to home. All right. And we're limited conscription, export focus, civilian economy. But we have a debt council... I guess that's good, which hurts our political power gain. But better research speed, just a bit, and more stuff to the market. I guess that's good. Uh, Tequila Hombre saying, I believe he is going to invade the Balkans, Uni Europa Universalis 4 style. I'd like to, that'd be good. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, research. I always like starting with industrial stuff. Synthetic oil, though? I don't know. I'm used to playing as the Soviet Union, where you never need to do oil, so I usually ignore it. So I'm going to do research speed. Turkey probably has oil, right? We have enough oil for 3.2 years, so that's something. And, uh, I don't know. Civilian factories. Let's get a shit ton of civilian factories so we can build more factories. All right, and we have almost no military factory, so we're not going to be producing much. But uh, convoys and guns for now. Unassigned divisions, slow manpower, and oh god, it's it's a mess over here. But all right, national focus tree, the best part of the game. All right, so let's start with our only real option, the Montreux Convention. I'm gonna guess. It is outrageous that despite everything that has happened since the Great War, we are still denied the rights to administer our own straits. Instead of unilaterally seizing the used straits by our military, let us instead try a more deft diplomatic maneuver so we can escape this crisis without becoming Europe's new pariah. Yeah, I think that's a fine idea. From there, though, what are our options? Uh... Okay, Ottomans, Ottomans, uh, here? Yeah. Pivot to the past, that'll do it. Okay, so we want to end up there. So I've never been exactly clear on this. What is the distinction between the dots and uh, lines? That's gotta be explained somewhere, right? Like, I know that if it's dots, you can't do both, right? No, that means you can't do both. The dots mean you can only do one or the other. I don't know. Because, like, what I'm wondering is, if I do continue the po the policy of etatism, whatever that is, can I then do this, or can I not because of the dots? Or can I then go this way? I'll figure it out later. For now, we're doing that. All right, let's make the game go. And we're off. Off to the races, where nothing's happening. I mean, let's look over the military situation. What do we got? We got, uh... Here, let's organize this stuff. Man, some slick music. Can the stream hear that? Cause that's, ah, I'm digging it. Oh yeah, let's get this going. There it is. Nice. If you can't hear me over this, let me know. <laughs> Alright, so anyways, yeah, we got... And what am I doing? What am I doing? I think I need to shut this down a bit. That's, uh, okay. All right, so division-wise, we got two cavalry, one armored. 
three mountain, five garrison. This looks like garrison to me. And 20 infantry. It's a little loud, some people saying, okay, let me turn it down a bit more then. Even though I dig whatever instrument this is. All right, so where are the mountains in the country? Oh, kind of all over the place. Technically, this is hills. That's still a little loud for some people. Okay, so mountain divisions, which I feel are probably gonna be needed over here, given this is where the mountains are. So I'll put those against the Soviets for now. As for the rest of the gang, I don't know, just defend the country. I don't want war anytime soon, because we'd lose badly. So, if we could all just pass a resolution to be cool for a bit. <sighs> but yeah, the country's not looking great, and our stability is 84%, and our war support is 5%, so we're slightly Stable, but no one wants war. I guess that's fine. Gotta get rid of these uh, sectarian woes. Okay, so someone in chat mentioned that you can actually see what, it, what you need to do stuff, and I guess I knew that, but I just forgot about it, so... Requires fully integrate the bank, so it is one or the other. Okay, that makes sense. Mura Daniel saying, can we rename Istanbul to Constantinople? I don't know, can we? That'd be neat. Although, wasn't it the Turks themselves who wanted to change that? Oh yeah, <laughs> Orcus1160 saying, that's nobody's business but the Turks. I guess that's true, we should leave it to them. Right, let's speed up the game a bit more since I already have a perfect handle on the situation. What, uh, what decisions can we do? Uh, okay. There are those in this country who are not fully prepared to see the role of religion so abruptly change in the Turkish nation. These individuals require a soft touch. Do they, though? Okay, so we got some places here that, that don't love us. Initiate counter-fundamentalist operation. Can we restore the empire, but at the same time be secular? That seems like a contradiction. And thanks to MRL Lampster32 for following. Welcome to the party, pal. Prospect for resources. Alright, so here's the game plan, as I see it. And hopefully it's not going to be a disaster. We'll buy it our time here in, in, in Turkey. Take uh, targets as we can find them. Like maybe try to grab Iraq or something. That might be uh, possible. Parts of Iran maybe. I feel like we should stay out of major wars until World War II is really in the thick of it. Uh, and then just side with whoever looks like they're winning. We're not gonna be a exceptionally courageous nation. <laughs> We're just a bunch of opportunists. But that's fine, right? And Beryl Caribou saying, Hi, have you thought of playing Space Hulk Deathwing to prepare for Darktide? Uh, no, but I have been playing Vermintide to prepare for Darktide. That's every Monday, and it's been going awesome. Alright, must I speed this up even further? Oh my god. Kurdish resistance escalates anti-government efforts. Did I know about this? What the hell do I do? Uh, I don't know, can I move like more stuff in there?
board that was already... Hmm. They've added some stuff since I last played this. Looks like my stuff's getting sabotaged. Don't love that. Resistance to occupation. Oh, yeah, I guess these were the states that don't like having the military there. Ah, okay, it happens. Okay, what the hell is going on now? Okay, Germany's remilitarized the Rhineland. We did the thing. Uh, the Soviet Union opposes our remilitarization of these straits. Officials representing the Soviets have stated in very clear terms that they find our unilateral seizing of the Turkish straits to be unlawful and that they intend to take extreme measures to reverse our decision. Despite being pressured by our diplomats, the Soviet officials refused to rule out a military intervention in Turkey to enforce their will. Oh, God. Uh, maintaining the current status quo is unthinkable, and even the Soviet Union must surely understand this. If we offer a compromise solution that offers free access to all countries of the Black Sea, then the Soviet Union will have no choice but accept our offer. Oh, okay, yeah, let's, uh... Let's offer the compromise, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, the UK is in favor of it. Uh, Turkey and the Soviets have come to an agreement on revisiting the Treaty of Whatever, which was signed and implemented after the nascent Republic of Turkey repulsed the Entente and the Turkish War of Independence. Okay. A great day for peace. So, fully integrate the bank. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Uh, Kalal Bayer and a group of like-minded liberals and advocates for democracy have bound themselves to the institution of the Eis Bank, which, out of Turk, oh man, I can't pronounce any of these. Anubis KOU, subscribe for 20 months, thank you very much, saying need to play this game. Yeah, you do. This game's great. Okay, by integrating the Eis Bank and the liberals chained to it, we can signal to our nation and to the wider world that Turkey is finally ready to take the next few tentative steps towards becoming a full-fledged democracy. What? That seems kind of counterintuitive to what the hell I want to do. Pivot to the past. Which requires looking outwards. Which requires... Privatize our infrastructure and peace in the world. Which would be there. And... Where? Peace in the world, peace in the world, and privatizer infrastructure. Where the hell's that? Oh, right there. So I gotta go down these two paths, I guess. Okay. Whatever. Fully integrate the bank, I guess? I'm worried I'm gonna screw everything up. So I wanna go down here, 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 here. Looking outwards. Yeah, all right, fuck it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the game was like, hey, these provinces need a light touch, and I put all my armies there. So already the country's falling apart. Good work, Mark. All right, we need a political advisor, but I can't afford anybody. But let's do captain of industry as soon as we got the political capital for it. Research-wise, I don't know, what do we got? Let's do radios. No, let's do mechanical computing. Resistance to occupation, God. Come on, guys, be cool. What else is going on in the world? Okay, integrated the bank, that's something. All right, rati rati ratify the six arrows. What the hell are the six arrows? Oh, they symbolize the six fundamental pillars of Kemalism. And a ratification of these principles into Turkey's national constitution will surely do a great deal to aid us in our missing, or mission of entrenching Kemalist values. What the hell is Kemalism? Do we, uh, do we know? 
All right. We'll do that. And I got some capital out of that, so let's buy... Oh, wait, I got someone out of that, too. I got... Uh... Can I minister somebody here? Okay, Captain of Ministry. Yes. I want more factories, please, and he'll build them. We can also get, I don't know, how about... Uh... Feminist ultra-nationalist? That's crazy. Or, uh, I don't know, financial expert. Consumer goods factories, minus five. This seems actually kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Animal research. Concentrated industry or dispersed? Uh, whew. Probably dispersed. I think dispersed is better for smaller countries, right? If you can't have, like, huge production lines like the Soviets. I usually do concentrated as Soviets, so I think dispersed is the way to go. Unless someone tells me otherwise, but no one did, so we're fine. Decisions. Do I have... Okay, the second London Naval Treaty has been signed. That's good to know. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Ethiopia has capitulated. As to be expected. Man, is my stream that far behind? Only now am I seeing the do concentrated and such. That was a while ago. Thought we were a bit more in sync than that, but what can you do? Promises of peace might be good. It'll cost me political power, but get us stability. Uh, okay, the US Congress passed neutrality. And we got construction. Let's do improved machine tools. Only do dispersed if you expect to be bombed, says Beltier. I don't know, I might be bombed. I thought they buffed uh, dispersed a bit by making it retain efficiency better across switching things. Am I wrong about that? All right, ratify the six arrows is done. Let's do... Uh, can privatize some stuff. About this. At a Turk has worked tirelessly over the years to cultivate a class of entrepreneurs and industrialists to assist in the modernization of our state. It's time to stop cultivating and start harvesting. Yeah, okay. Uh, invest resources into erecting civilian fact. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm interested to see how going democratic is going to bring back the Ottoman Empire. We're going to, like, vote in the Sultan. That seems kind of weird. Yeah, because let's go back to the research debate around industry. Um, concentrated is a flat boost to max factories, factory output, and dockyard output. Uh... 15, 10, whereas this one has factory plus 10, but also like production efficiency retention, production efficiency base. I don't know.
retaining efficiency seemed like a good idea. That's all I know. Okay, the six guiding principles of Turkey will have been codified into our constitution, and as long as we honor them, we must believe that our nation will never be a tort. Okay. Uh. Secular republicanism, secularism, populism, nationalism, reformism, liberalism. Eh. Uh, Or we could initiate counter-fundamentalist operations. Yeah, let's try that. Or, I don't know. Maybe... Populism is probably a, <laughs> a good safe road, right? Nationalism or support, we don't really need that right now. Reformism. Liberalism. Uh, let's do populism. Seems safe. Oh, but it's only active for 60 days. That doesn't seem very necessary at all. Okay, never mind. Let's do, uh, counter-fundamentalism. Alright, cooperate with the Debt Council. Or privatize the... Uh, and that'll do agency. Wow, now we're going free media? Alright. How the hell is this gonna lead to this? Requires looking outwards. The Ottoman loyalists have been invited to return to active service. How the hell do I do that? Do I need to force a civil war? In which case, maybe I shouldn't have tried to work with the, uh, those guys. Okay, well, we'll figure that out later. I see. Grey Light saying that the route to the Ottomans is to start a civil war as a democracy. Okay. Well, surely our country is divided enough that these efforts won't bear fruit. Maybe start doing an industrial project instead. That'll do it. Let's open a... Nazeli Karako factory. And thanks to Gix for following. I provide, we privatize those guys. Lift the ban on other political parties. Okay. Sure. Is forcing a civil war a good idea? Ah, probably. What could go wrong? Murad Daniel saying, don't worry people, Sultan Mark knows what he's doing. Yes, I certainly do. Ha <laughs> ha boy. Good news, we still have resistance to the occupation, so I guess civil war is still on the menu, one would hope. Done mechanical computing, so let's get, I don't know. More industry. Commander Cool asking, why the Ottomans? Uh, I don't know, I, I have no experience playing as them. They seem interesting. Uh, I always play as the Soviets. Cooperate with the Debt Council. Sure. What does that do? When the dust settled after the Great War, oh my god, okay. The opposition movement begins to form, so hopefully this is our gang. Uh, okay, uh. 
Oh, an empty boy, 64. Thanks for following. Turkish political scientists believe it would, be, it would take weeks for a legitimate opposition movement to begin to form once the ban on political parties was lifted. But they've all been proven wrong. Adnan Mendere? Oh, God, I can't pronounce anything. Has wasted no time in gathering a group of like-minded traditionalists unhappy with the state of religious faith in Turkey under the Kemalists in the past. When a Turkish political movement uh, has been hijacked by religious fundamentalists, the entire process of transitioning to democracy has been shut down. But not this time. This time, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk Atat is determined to beat this movement of fanatics at the polls come election day. Mendere and his cabal of fundamentalists have gathered together in what they are calling the traditional group, which the CHP has identified as the progenitor to a populist Islamic movement planning to run on the platform of conservatism and traditionalism. The traditional group will canvas in the Turkish countryside over the following weeks for the purposes of building a support base. Okay. The upcoming election will be one for Turkey's soul. Base stability minus 10. Works for me. I guess. Does it work for me? Can't really recruit much in the way of people, can I? Oh my god! It is a sad day for Turkey's nascent democracy as a plot to rig the future election results so that they favor Adnan Mendere. Okay. Opposition movement has been uncovered in some of Turkey's most aggressive. Is that a word? Prov provinces. The plot involved religious leaders, local administrators, and even state employees has been foiled and the conspirators are arrested. No evidence tying Menderes or his opposition movement to the plot has been found in our investigations. But our reaction will certainly affect their electoral campaign. Uh... <laughs> we shall offer amnesty and hope this is forgotten. I guess... Or try them all. Huh, what to do, what to do. Handle this quietly, try them very publicly. We get more stability if we do this. But do we not want stability for trying to get the civil war? Ah, eh, let's just let them go. Because we're incompetent at this point in the country's life. Okay, traditional group mobilizes rural citizens in bid to increase voter turnout. Uh... Oh wow, they're actually doing a, a grassroots campaign. This is unconstitutional? Isn't this like very constitutional? Uh, I guess this is okay. Game Pro 220, or 2200, thanks for, thanks for following. We're right in the middle of trying to create the Ottoman Empire, and I don't know how to do it. So we're just kind of fumbling along, which hopefully is what it takes. What's the Treaty of... Sad bad. Um, We have nothing to lose and everything to gain by remaining friendly with our neighbors to the east. The idea of a treaty formalizing our friendship has been lobbied around on occasion, and it is high time for Turkey to take the initiative and make sure this friendship is codified in a treaty. Okay. Or we could utilize foreign capital. Oh, gain a research slot. Okay, yep, that is our that is our path. Our nation is young and much of our land is bare of industry, but we do not have to work alone in this matter. Okay, great. We'll get uh, European investors to help us out. And let's use some political capital to buy a factory next chance we get. Oh, man, okay, a gigantic rally held in support for Menderes's movement. A rally held by Adnan Menderes in the country's hinterlands drew crowds comparable to when speeches were given by Mustafa Kemal At Atürk in the heart of Inst Istanbul. Man, I always play these countries where I can't pronounce any of the names, and it makes me look like an idiot. Uh, uh, Mustafa was distraught when hearing the recount of the rally, which went off without a hitch, and where Menderes announced that his official opposition party would be unveiled to the nation very soon. 
A string of speakers came out, each preaching the importance of religion in everyday life and in politics, and every one of them generally sponsoring an ideology of traditionalist conservatism. Some of the speakers even spoke in enduring terms of the long-vanquished Ottoman Sultanate, and Caliphate Menderes himself took to the stage last and spoke in much more blah 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 blah. Jubilee expanded the virtues of laissez-faire liberalism and heaped praise upon the Kemalists for all they had done to the nation before undercutting that praise with a great deal of criticism. Okay. A dark day for the Republic. Research finished. Improved machine tools. Let's get better tools, damn it, and more resources. Excavation. That's the way to the future. Dig down. Dig deep. Menderes' traditional group approaches Kurdish organizations for an alliance. This is borderline treason, but it could bear fruit. Adnan Menderes have undertaken a much publicized trip into Turkish and Kurdistan where they have preached reconciliation and mutual interest when it comes to the state of faith in Turkey today. Okay. I guess that's something. I don't know, this Menderes guy doesn't seem so bad. And thanks to Top Ten Ten X, Top Ten X for following. Okay, got a lot of political capital. What can I do with it? Military theorist, every okay, none of these seem that great. Alright, the Democrat Party. Eight hours ago, Adnan Menderes triumphantly announced the debut of Turkey's newest and most dangerous opposition party, the Democrat Party. Okay, he announced that the Democrat Party attempted to topple the CHP's monopoly on power and that the country would be steered in a brand new direction, the likes of which has never been seen before. The three pillars of the party were unveiled to jubilant crowds, with Menderes pledging his government would be committed to faith, fatherland, and freedom in that order. Most surprising was Menderes' announcement that a DP-led Turkey would be decidedly more interventionist than any other Turkish government since the nation's founding. The announcement was met with fury inside Kemalist circles, and Mustafa has pledged to his supporters in Istanbul today that even if the election will be harder fought than initially believed, the CHP shall emerge from the upcoming election still the governing leaders of the nation. I mean, let's hope. Can I do cool... Oh, hold national referendum. Various political elements have begun to speak up in favor of democratic reforms. Absorb the TPDA. The Turkish Public Debt Administration is fused into industrial sector like a tumor, but we can reintegrate the organization as a national process in order to remove the debt administration as a hurdle to our further... Yeah, that seems like a very good idea, I guess. So let's do that. We lose stability, which is already bad, but we remove the TPDA. Gains national spirit. Okay. We did that. So it seems like we're recovering from our post-war haze. Decision-wise, still 50 days before I can do the next factory. Oh, and Spain's at war. Good for them. No idea who's going to win. Anything else happening across the world? Nothing much. But we got that sweet, sweet foreign capital. And with the new research slot, let's try to make our army a bit better. Let's research mobile warfare for deserts and whatnot. And our next national focus, hold our first multi-party election. Alright, so that election's happening. Pay off our debts. We got some other options here. Discuss investment possibilities with the German Reich. 
Uh, so the higher their opinion of us, the more opportunities for investment they'll be. Okay, they don't like us very much. France doesn't like us very much. The UK doesn't like us. The Soviet Union doesn't like us. The US doesn't like us. Who are our other options? Italy doesn't like us. Man, no one likes us. Okay, well, I got a good feeling about this German Reich. Let's try to improve relations with them. The centrist powers shall rise again. That's what I've heard. Maybe we can bring about the uh, removal of Hitler and get the Kaiser back in command. <laughs> Although I somehow doubt it. The new plan is to reenact World War I until we win it. Oh my god! Mustafa is ill! Rushed to the hospital in a dire state after collapsing unconscious on his yacht while hosting some old friends. The guy has a yacht? The episode is the latest in a series of very concerning signs that Mustafa's health is rapidly deteriorating. And advisors have privately expressed their concerns that he's working too hard as his condition becomes progressively more unpredictable. Working too hard? He was on a yacht, come on. Despite his insistences that everything is fine, the government is taking it upon itself to monitor the health of Mustafa and is compiling a list of possible measures to take. Uh, if he's not gonna step away from his duties to take care of his ailing constitution, then we may have to consider forcing him to retire so that he can spend his final months with his family. Oh my God. The fading father decision. Okay. Uh, what do we want to do? Seek treatment or retire him? We have 90 days. And we'll have enough political power to do either option in about 20 days. So let's, uh, let's ask Twitch chat here, folks. Um... What is to be done about, uh, must offer. Seek treatment, retire him, or do nothing. All right there, the pull is up. Let me know what you think. Seek treatment. Kind of taking the lead. I mean, this all assumes that none of these options will have a direct impact on trying to uh, bring back the Ottomans, right? Oh, retire him has taken the lead. Oh my God. What have we become? Mirudo saying, is that anybody that's my Rito? Next, you gotta play the Ottomans in Kaiserreich, so Kamal can lead the Empire to glory. Yeah, man, Kaiserreich is so awesome. I need to play that game more. I need to play all games a lot more. Looks like Retire Him is gonna take it. How can we do this to the father of the nation? Oh my god. What has become of us? Alright. Retire Him. Okay, no man or woman could ever hope to live up to the mythic heights of Mustafa's leadership, but the father of the Turks remains but a mortal man. We are not looking to replace our Gazi, for nobody could ever dream to live up to our nation's mess, uh, mess, messianic... Mess, messianic? Uh, founding father. But we must choose the leader that they can trust to follow, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yep, yeah, sure. Silal Bayar is the obvious candidate. That's what I've heard. That's what everyone's saying. The government idea has been removed because its prerequisites are no longer fulfilled. Okay, what the hell does that mean? Oh, maybe he was one of the guys in the government? Did that make sense? Okay, it's election day. Who the hell is gonna win? The Republicans or the Democrats? Uh, 
The long-awaited election day has finally arrived. Men and women all across the nation ignored poor weather and personal illness so they could trek out to their province's designated voting booths and fill in their ballots for their preferred party. Nobody could have anticipated such a tremendous turnout, especially when the transition to democracy seemed to come so quickly. The electoral race has not exactly been clean, but any pro-democracy advocate would feel pride seeing so many Turkish citizens going out to vote in Turkey's first free election. The race was tight, and it took a significant amount of time to count all the votes and determine the final result. The ultimate winners of Turkey's first election are, I think, the Democrats. Yeah. Okay, hopefully that... Yeah, okay, I guess that brought us on the right path. Adnan Mendere, by pushing transparently Islamist policies on a platform of democratic rights, has become the man of the nation. The Republic of Turkey is undergoing a conservative revolution, and all the world can do is watch in dismay. <laughs> Maybe we should do this one first. Treaty of Sem Semabad. River City uh, saying, Aren't you trying to remove democracy? Yes, but we must use democracy to destroy democracy. And while we're at it, let's get better guns. Mekoyen123 saying, you should go Space Marines, heavy SBG tanks plus infantry. Are there Space Marines in 1937? If so, please tell me how to get them. The regional defense, okay. Anarchist uprising in Spanish Civil War. Continued government attempts at reasserting centralized control over the mostly independent acting anarchist communes in northeastern Spain. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Got it. Spain's a mess. But, alas, the death of Mustafa. The Republic grieves war hero, revolutionary president, a revolutionary president and father of the Turks. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk has passed away peacefully in his sleep. He maintained his duty to the Turkish people and the Republic he founded up until the very end. Thousands of mourners have paid their respects in Istanbul before his body was transferred by Cassian ship and train to Ankara. There, his state funeral was held with the entire parliament and dignitaries from all over the world in attendance. While the father of the modern Turkish nation now gone, the Republic must move on. Adan Menderes was one of the many speakers at Ataturk's funeral, and in his speech he pledged to continue the legacy of the man who had been so vital in securing the nation's freedom. Or will he? Iraq signs the Sadabad Pact. Cool. So does Afghanistan. So does Iran. We did it. Next up. SSR Future. Okay. We need to analyze whether the vision of our Gazi still aligns with our priorities. So now that he's dead, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna ruin his dream. Oh my god. I don't know about this. Alright, so we gotta assess our future, the heyday issue, peace in the world, and we're, we're getting there. Let's get better guns again. Or no, let's get trucks. And let's get some better stuff. Factory repair speed, no. Industrial monopoly, maybe. Yes, we need 250 political power for that, and we're a little ways off. Meanwhile, factory is still being sabotaged. Don't love that. Can't they, like, do something about this? How the hell does, uh... 
Oh, assess our future, okay. The Heite issue. Oh my god, the Hindenburg blew up. Okay, we can no longer sit idly by and allow the oppression of Turkish minorities by Arab, Irredentists, and French imperialists. The notion that Heite is not every bit a rightful part of Turkey is ridiculous. Okay. I mean, we can try. Uh, didn't we already have, he died again? That sucks. Sorry, buddy. And Phoenix, thanks for following. The father of the nation died twice, that's weird. Lockwood saying FF for the double death. Okay, the Spanish Civil War continues to become complex. We got Carlos Spain joining the group. Man, the nationalists are screwed. First the anarchists rise up and now the Carlists. Oh, France uh, cedes sovereignty of Haiti to us. Adnan Menendez gave a small speech and end. I can't pronounce anything. Uh, welcoming the citizens of Haiti into the Republic of Turkey and gave thanks to Pierre Laval of France for respecting the democratic will of the people of Haiti. Okay. Cool. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Cool. We got a new province. Good, good for us. Now we can increase the influence of the fundamentalists if we want to. <laughs> Man, we really don't know what we're doing. All right, but let's get uh, Industrial Monopoly. I can't because Tisseret has been granted a monopoly over the Republic. Okay, nope, haven't done that yet. What can we do instead? Quartermaster General, no. Uh, silent Workhorse, that could be good. More political power. Yes. Cool. Support weapons, excellent. Let's do better support weapons. All right, peace in the world. Ataturk once proclaimed peace in the world as the ultimate aim of the Turkish foreign policy, and we intend to live up to that lofty goal. But do we, though? Do we really intend to live up to that? <sighs> we gain Camelus neutrality. Okay, fine. For now, we'll be eternally at peace, and then later, to hell with eternal peace. Still gonna add something to the government. Maybe I could transfer it to, like, an early mobilization or something. Civilian construction speed is minus 30. Whereas if I do early, it'll be minus 10. Partial would be nothing but plus 10. Akoi and saying, go partial, Mob. Yeah. What's the... You have to be, have more than 25 war support, and we're at 26. So... Okay, if this destroys the country, though, it's someone else's fault. Next up, now we're going to be pushing those Islamist policies. And let's research more mobility tactics. Okay, da -da -da -da, that's going well. More decisions. The Kurdish rebels still ain't happy. But they got their guy in the government. Well, let's get another factory. Uh, cool. Support the fundamentalists to let them reform the empire, says Mura Daniel. Are we sure that we, like, need to 
do that? Or does the Civil War just trigger at some point? Oh, it gets event, the Turkish Civil War. Okay, so that's where we're gonna be at. Of course, I'm gonna have to win a Civil War. I don't, should I be like raising armies right now? Cause like, I only have 57,000 men. It's not like I can really do a whole lot. Game Amazing saying hello and happy new year. Hello and happy new year. The best part about this game is every few minutes we have a happy new year. Uh, Wirespeed91 saying, I would advise against raising armies. I think I agree, because I've tried to do that before during like the Russian Civil War, and I always just like lose half of them. Even the stuff that I have in my like deployment screen, I think just is removed. Uh, so maybe it's better to have like as few armies as possible. Who can say? But let's get some chromium. Yeah, I'm gonna save it for this. So we got our motorized trucks, that's something. And this cool song's on again. Tanks are neat. Maybe uh, this thing, do we need tanks though? Probably can't make them. Artillery, guns are simple. McCoy is saying, make a ton of cavalry before the Civil War, so the AI will build less soldiers. Is that uh, a good strategy? I mean, I'll give it a shot. How about five divisions? Who knows if they'll be done by the time war starts, especially since we don't have enough anything. Let's switch over to uh, support equipment. I don't know why the hell we're building those planes. I probably should have shut that down. What's in my cavalry divisions anyways? Cavalry, who saw that coming? Okay, great. Next up, uh, expand our armaments. Sure. Actually, what's the lore on that one? The world is changing and we bear a responsibility to take up arms against those that would threaten not only the Republic of Turkey, but the ideological foundations upon which it stands. It should take very little to convince the somebody of this and to secure their aid in protecting our country. All right. McCoy asking, can you try the idea of building heavy SPGs? Maybe, but I'm not great at this game, so I have to tell me what the hell an SPG is. SPG, SPG. Not that I have like a ton of stuff to do anyways, right? Also, a civil war in Mexico. A Mexican junta. The song is lit, says Mira Daniel. Yeah, it is. Is that Mirad Daniel? Mira Daniel? A lot of political power, not sure what the hell to do with it. Material designer. Yes. Maybe like high command, infantry expert, army regrouping. That might be good. SPG is the tank artillery. I don't think I'm in a spot where I can afford to build tanks. I have almost no factories. Uh, it would take forever.
Got a lot of decisions I can do. Apparently our six guiding principles have changed. Jihad, fidelity. Ah, huh, interesting. Murad Daniel. Got it. Give refuge to German scientists. Maybe. Does Germany like us yet? Yes, they do. Let's uh let's talk investments with them. Let's talk Turkey. Better support weapons, excellent. Armored cars, maybe. It's got a better tank just for the hell of it. Can't build them, but at least we can research them. Expand our armaments. And privatize our infrastructure. Alright, is the country falling apart? I can't tell. Gamezing asking, why don't you play the Soviet Union and restore the Tsar? There's two answers to that. Number one, I always play the Soviet Union. I play the Soviet Union like a thousand times. The second reason is, no matter how many times I play the Soviet Union, I will never restore the Tsar because fuck the Tsar. The Soviets are where it's at. Okay. And Stalinists won the Spanish uh, Civil War. Good for them. The Civil War saw the peaceful transition of Spain to a communist peaceful. How'd that work? Well, good for Spain, I guess. They got a lot of options, don't they? Better guns, better guns. Anti-tank, maybe? Yeah, sure. Better artillery. The uh, Soviet Union is really in need of an overhaul, right? Like, this is so underdeveloped compared to the other guys these days. The second they announce uh, uh, the expansion for that, I am going to try to get an early copy. Okay. Uh, purge the officers! Wait, no. I should permit regional elections first. Or should I? Nah, fuck it. Let's purge the officers. Let's get the Civil War started. And if I lose, it'll be a shorter stream than usual. Oh, good. And uh, Germany's investing. Good for them. Hey, uh, Al Rizik, is that the new Pog emote you've uh, you've put in chat there? I've been slightly keeping up on the drama surrounding that. I know they're changing it every every 24 hours since people got harassed over it. Seems pretty lame to me, but uh, that people would you know harass people over a fucking emote. But here we are. Oh no, that's the lull emote. Different emote. Okay, what do I know about Twitch? Uh, Poland seeks Baltic cooperation, sure. What else is new? Uh, the anti common turn Pact. Germany proposes that we sign a pact to address the common turn's goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of subversion of violence. Uh, by signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation. Yes? This doesn't bind us to war, right? We just hate communists together, is I think the... Alright, fuck it. Sure, let, let's, let's do that. And let's get a clothing factory. How's our factories doing, by the way? 
We're slowly producing them. We're up to 31, which is, I guess, something. Oh, man. We should repair all this shit. What the hell has happened here? It's those insurrectionists. This is my bad. I should have kept an eye on things. It also looks like my dream of... Yeah, we're out of manpower. Okay, to hell with this. Pay off our debts. Maybe we won't need to once we become the Ottoman Empire again. I mean, why are we paying the Ottoman Empire's debts anyways? Can't we just say, we're not the Ottoman Empire, we don't know you shit? And then we'll become the Ottoman Empire again, and be like, nah, you owe the other em the Ottoman Empire. Eh, that's funny. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. I'd love to pay you back, but, uh... You're looking for the Ottoman Empire on the east side of the town. Where, where the other one? Okay, purge the officers. After the electoral victory of the Democratic Party, it was almost inevitable that conflict would break out inside the Republic of Turkey. Tensions between the government and the armed forces continue to worsen every day since the election, and now it appears everything has come to a head. The officers have already seized control over the westernmost wealthy states, and it is believed that the officers have the popular support of those revolting states. To the east, Kurdish militias have begun to organize in preparation for an armed struggle with the aims of securing their independence. We were fools to think our alliance with the Kurds would last for long, but they are the even bigger fools for thinking we'll not annihilate their pitiful attempts to claw a nation out of our sovereign soil. The struggle for the Republic of Turkey's soul has begun, and we cannot afford to lose. Okay, which side am I? Which side am I? I am the Republic of Turkey? Okay, great, I can work with that. Let's get you guys on this. Everyone else over here. We'll worry about the logistics in just a second. Assuming that, oh, a civil war in Turkey, you think so? Do we have any planes? Yes, we do. Get every plane in the air. Do we have any planes in reserve? Yeah, we got a bunch of fighters. Okay, that's good. Not enough service manpower. We're out of manpower. We're out of manpower already? Okay, can we mobilize? Extensive conscription. Ottoman offer officers offer chance to restore the Sultanate. Here it is, baby. We have received an offer from some like-minded individuals who wholeheartedly agree with us about the importance of religion and the governance of the Turkish state. But we know for a fact that these solicitors are loyal to more than just the Almighty. We have been approached by former officers and generals of the Ottoman Empire with a choice that will have far-reaching consequences for the rest of our history. They wish to restore the Sultan to his throne. This offer does not come wholly as a surprise as many of our ministers and constituents have privately expressed disappointment at the collapse of the Ottoman Sultanate and spoken proudly of their friendly correspondence with Ottoman fugitives living abroad. No doubt our electorate will support our decision either way, but our upper management is torn. There is a great deal of respect for the Republic and for everything that Mustafa accomplished, and if we sign this pact with these Ottoman ghosts, then we will undoubtedly be dealing a death blow to the Republic. Uh, our allegiance is to the Republic and to a democracy. Nope. Our old glory awaits reclamation. There it is, folks. Provisionary, uh, provisionary state of Anatolia. Okay. Please get your shit together, you guys. Okay, so we need to get the, the army going really goddamn fast. No manpower. But, God willing, it's gonna trickle in because of mobilization. 
They have a tank division? How do they have a tank division? Oh, they took the only tank division we had. Okay, this isn't looking great. <laughs> I honestly don't like my chances here. Yeah, what the hell are we doing? I need more divisions on this side of the map. And let's get these ships out to sea. Got some manpower coming in here, so that's something. Okay, we can move in on the coast, or on, not the coast, on the border here, where there's not a lot of resistance. On this side of things, doesn't look like we have any easy routes. We can move in here. Gotta get Istanbul back. Probably also turn down the speed a bit, right? Okay, we've taken cars. Now we got resistance. Doesn't seem like we're doing a lot of good over here. But this mountain division is kicking ass. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, better guns. I mean, I can't afford basically anything. So let's just do more production tools. It'll take a long time, but... Ah, oh, man! Kurdistan 2! I all my stuff! Okay, this is a disaster. It's all on this one division. Okay, you need to take this territory really goddamn fast. And outrun this guy. Do I have any hope over here? Oh yeah, they've actually made some progress. There's no way I could encircle these guys, right? And Garlic Dream, thanks for following. I too dream of garlic. More cavalry. I mean, I think I finally have the uh, the dudes for it. So let's uh, how many can I train at a time? Three, four. Not enough equipment to train. What do I need? I need infantry equipment. Am I not making that? Infantry equipment. I'm putting everything into it. Learning from the Great War, I guess that's something. Modernizing the army a little late, but... Uh I don't suppose, like, Germany can help us out or anything, can they? I don't know, let's try to do a grand offensive. It's probably going to be a disaster. Oh no, it actually looks like it's kind of working out. More or less. Yeah, there we go. McCoy insane snake with the cavalry. Yeah, I mean... That's what they're good for, right? And no worries about being annoying. I'm I'm not very strong at, at this game, especially Turkey, who I never play as, so. Let's get radios. Okay, 
Although I was expecting this to be a little worse on me. I, I think I'm actually doing okay. I mean, you know, compared like it could be a lot worse, but uh, we almost got like an encirclement happening, kinda. If we win this, but it doesn't look like we're gonna. Okay, what's going on with my mountain division? Oh man, we gotta rescue that guy. The Kurds are doing very well. Now I'm attacking across rivers like an idiot. Okay, if I can get this side going, then I can worry about this side. But for now, it looks like it's a total disaster. Can I just get one cavalry division, please? Uh, it's my lack of steel. Yeah, that would do it. Okay. Maybe the Germans can help me. There's a way to prioritize new units, right? Enforcements first, and then I don't know. We'll get there. We are seeing a bit of traction around here. Fact, what the hell is happening here? Is it possible there's nothing defending Istanbul? We will see. How is that mountain division still alive? They are short on supplies and organization and everything. Alright, we gotta meet up with them. Doesn't look like it's happening that way. Okay. This could be going a lot better. But it could be going a lot worse. Maybe. It actually does kind of seem like the Western Front isn't terrible. I kind of assumed that would be where most of the resistance was. There would be. Wait, opportunity for encirclement, perhaps? Yes, I think. Except they can't just easily go to that, can't they? Barrel Caribou, thanks for subscribing for three months. Thank you very much. Yeah, the other front isn't going as well as I would have hoped. That mountain division's about to buy it. And someone else got encircled? Oh, you idiots. Where is Batman? I don't think Batman's been founded yet. Isn't that a relatively new Turkish city? I just gotta keep these guys trapped in there for a long time. Also, I think I'm about to take Istanbul with cavalry for swimming across the water. Doth Raki can't swim, eh? What about now? Cool. Let's get everybody making guns, please, as quickly as possible. Okay, 
Cavalry, continue doing your thing. This guy, keep doing your thing. Man, making good progress on the side there. That's unexpected. Given my usual performance in these games. Oh, shit! We did it. Turkey is ours. Okay, let's get everybody... Uh, other side of the country, please. Now we just gotta deal with the uh, Kurdish states. And we can get some cavalry. Uh, on the move. Oh man, that was nice. Modernizing the army, just in time for the war to be over. Mechanizing our army, uh, maybe. But can we declare pivot to the past? Um, the war of independence may have been a necessity, but the Republic was a mistake. Ataturk is no longer here to safeguard his precious secular Republic, and the people clamor for the return of the Ottoman Sultanate. We shall oblige them. Yes. I think I got this, maybe. Just gotta get everybody to the right side of the country. And let's get these planes over slightly closer. stuff here. Can we invade? Yes, yeah, seems like we can. Should probably try to hold this side of the country seems like the oh god. Yep. They have encircled me because I'm an idiot. We saw this coming. Maybe I can outcircle them with cavalry. Which is apparently pretty good. And I can link up with the cutoff division, become a hero. Look at that. The surrounders have become the surroundees. I am a genius. Yeah, holy shit, cavalry is insane. All like deserts and stuff, they really know what's up. down the border here and we'll just sweep up the sides. Uh, the London Conference. Okay, shit's going down. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, Europe's doing their own thing. We don't need to worry about it, but China is at war with Japan. Let's research more industry. That's all I care about. I have 27 factories, which still sucks. Marco Polo's doing their thing. Got these guys occupied. The cavalry is doing their thing. Love it, love it, love it. Trying to break out of the Tarsus pocket, but no such luck. I think we're about to sweep the line, as the kids say. Uh, 
Oh, hey, there's Batman. Okay, I was completely wrong. Batman does exist. I thought it was just an urban legend, but clearly I'm wrong. And they've encircled me again. Good work, Mark. Good work. Alright, we have taken Batman. Repeat, we have taken Batman. Making some good progress all over the place. Including to the port Sydney, city of Arana. Okay, kind of seems like things are getting wrapped up kind of nice. I mean, they can't have much fight left in them, right? Is that cavalry in? ready at all? Nope. By the time we get it, the war is going to be over. This is almost done. Moving in there. Consolidating over here. And pivot to the pass is done. Purge the chemists. Okay, I don't love the idea of purging people, but you know, gotta break a few eggs, I suppose. Or crack a few eggs, I think is the expression. It's, we're looking good. Look at the final offensive drawn up and then we'll, uh, good to go. Uh, don't finish them off. You get their guns when they capitulate. How do I? How do I force that? Uh, Barrel Caribou saying, wondering if you could try Space Hulk. It's like Vermintide, but on 40k. Uh, well, we are playing Vermintide to get ready for Dark Tide, which I figured would be the the better preparation. Uh, I'll have to look into Space Hulk. I thought it was more of like a tactics type game as opposed to a shoot 'em up kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I'm willing to give that a shot. Did someone else ask about that earlier? Seems to be a more popular game than I anticipated. Alright, well, they've got to be close to capitulating, right? We won't take the capital, but we'll take everything else about. Or maybe just the capital? Is that the way to do it? We got their stuff, so all 100 or 860 guns. Wasn't the grand ceremony that we could hope for, but whatever. Uh, the communists are doing their thing. We'll worry about that later. For now, let's research more industry if we can. Hey, wait, what the hell? Why didn't... Did I click the wrong thing? I might reload that one. I think I forgot to... I'm an idiot. Okay, it's fine. 
How, how many days ago was that? Was it one day? No, nobody saw that. Erase that from your memories. All right, let's pretend. Yay, we did it! Who saw that coming? Take all states. Okay. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, good work, everybody. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Decision wise, can I do more factories? Yes. And thanks to Battlefield Soldier for following. Provisionary state of Anatolia. Well, we're a real mess of a country again. We've, we're basically back where we started, except with a new name. We'll get the army to occupy the country after that unrest, aka the Civil War. Oh dear. The Soviet Union declared war on Greece. But how? And why? Why would the Soviet Union declare... Oh, mm. I mean, this kind of affects me. Maybe they'll just be an armistice? Is there any information as to why this happened? Oh, maybe it was Spain against Greece and the Soviet Union was just brought in, I guess? That would make sense. So, this might be a very good time to declare war on Greece myself. What do we got here? We got uh, we got mountains. So I got it. I'll get the mountain division up there, and we'll add like cavalry. Of our best dudes. I don't know. Get to the Greek border ASAP. Can I even declare war on them? Nope, not for a while. What would I need to do to declare war on Greece? I mean, I'm on the I'm on the path. So assuming that the the Soviets don't act too quickly, I could move against Athens. And is it pointless to keep training these cavalry divisions? Like, maybe I should begin modernizing. Although I don't quite have the factories to really do anything. And my stability is shit. Populism, nope. Nationalism, nope. Liberalism can't do it. Jihad, nope. Fidelity, nope. Okay, I need to uh, improve worker conditions? Yes, when I get the political power, I'll do that. All right, so the country is not stable at all. Who saw that one coming? But we're gonna purge the Kemalists, and that'll help a bit. We've still got some ships just kind of hanging out. I guess we'll bring them back. All right, restore the Devon. 
The Parliament of Civil Stooge is elected by our enemies? No, we'll never intend for that. Okay, uh, stability, yes. Political power, yes. Or rebuilding our nation. Ah, uh, let's that one first. So far, the Greek-Soviet War seems to be not really going anywhere. Like, how did that happen? Does anyone have any idea? Like, it only makes sense to me that maybe Spain had some event, or some desire to go after Greece. Oh my god! There's been an officer's revolt in the Soviet Union. Oh shit! Could we declare war on Russia? Probably not. We have no way to justify it. That'd be cool, though. Alright, so the, so or the Soviet Union has looked better. Approve relations, negotiate licenses. Huh. Is that a good idea? Should I maybe negotiate licenses? Would that be... I've never really done that. Rebuilding our nation. Done. Al Rizik saying, help Russia, we can get a piece of the cake. Uh, I don't know how, I can't justify declaring any wars on anybody right now. Plus, the country has no stability. But maybe we'll restore the Devon and that'll make everything right. And it does seem like the Soviet Union is going to crush them, so. And fuck the Tsar, you know? Me and my homies all hate the Tsar. Need more political power. Only have 300 days of oil left, says Awesome Sheep. But it's in the green, doesn't that mean I'm gaining oil? In any case, I should probably stop my planes from flying around. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill my production capacity in 300 days. All right, we've uh, restored the thing. Let's get better computing machines. And we'll bring back the Sultan, the return of the king it is. Man, as someone who hates monarchies, I can't believe I'm doing this. What a dick. Eh, ah, what can you do? Oh shit! Did they actually make landfall there? They did! Republican Spain has land. Okay, never mind. That lasted all of two seconds, but they briefly had a beachhead in, in Greece. Gotta give the Soviets credit. I didn't think they'd make it that far. A uh, space person saying attack Greece? Yeah, that is the plan. Um. Although I was kind of hoping they'd be weakened a bit more by the Soviets, uh, but I can't actually attack Greece until I unlock the uh, requisite thing. Um, gotta go a bit further down the path for that. But in the meantime, let's get better... I don't know. I want to get tanks, but we don't have the industry for it. Artillery is like the best thing we can hope to kind of make right now. Maybe just better guns, I guess. This music kinda sounds like the Godzilla theme. Okay, 
Uh, in search of a suitable king, the Kingdom of Hungary extended an invitation to Otto von Habsburg to return to the lands that were until recently ruled by his family. Otto, who has lived in exile throughout Western Europe since the end of the Great War and the dissolution of his father's empire, chose to accept the offer. Today, amidst much fanfare and celebration, he was crowned King of Hungary in a solemn ceremony at the Royal Palace in Budapest. Budapest is awesome! I want to go back there. Okay, but Russia has been defeated. Good for the Soviets. To do what to do. More infantry divisions? I feel like I can get away with a few of them. Just five more, maybe. Manpower wise and industry wise, I'm still very far behind. 34 factories, wow. Not exactly doing amazing. But the Sultan's back! Much to the entire world's dismay, the Ottoman Sultan has been restored to his throne after a particularly brutal civil war between the country's conservatives and its secularist Kemalists. In an extravagant ceremony that seems straight out of the medieval ages, the Sultan was restored to his former position, and Mustafa Kemal Atarek's republic was dissolved forever. Really? Forever? Uh, Rafet Pasha addressed his newly reborn Sultanate, expressing a mix of surprise and humility over the fact he was restored to his old station. The new sultan is a mild-mannered man, but is surrounded by a court of warmongers and redentists. Experts who never believe the sultan's return is even possible are clueless as to what the future could hold. Yeah. The Ottoman sultan is back! Cool! Let's reclaim the Mecca Danele Sanjak. Uh, those unfaithful dogs to our west played a central role in the collapse of the last Ottoman Empire. The Greeks have resented us since the very moment we disassembled their pitiful, sickly empire, and now they hold much of Thrace and Macedonia from us. It is time to save our compatriots while enacting a little revenge at the same time. Yep, okay. Although I don't think I can possibly... Can I win against Greece? People's Republic of Spain declared war on the Republic of Galiza. What the hell is the Republic of... Oh, okay. Part of Portugal has split away. That's cool. I don't know. That could happen. Good for Spain. Bulgaria declared war on Bulgaria. Good to know? I want to get an airbase closer to Greece. Is that so wrong? Of Yugoslavia, recent territorial losses have caused fractures within the Yugoslav state, leading to ethnic conflict and weakening of central authority. Germany has created an independent state of Croatia and annexed the remainder. Yeah, Germany is doing real well, it seems to me. Elastic defense. Chief of the army, we want offense. Military high command, let's get, uh, army logistics. That seems the, uh, least bad. Oh, hey! We renamed Istanbul, but not to Constantinople, but to Constantinehi or something? Let's, uh, I don't know, I have no idea what that's all about. Uh, let's do, uh... Let's do Blitzkrieg. Even if we're nowhere near getting tanks. Okay, Navy-wise, I have two light cruisers and two destroyers. Um, some destroyers and heavy ship hull. I don't know what the hell that is. A battle cruiser. That's the pride of the fleet. And some submarines. And that is about it. The Navy is in a pitiful state. 
Uh, but let's move them all to our westernmost port. But going in asking, why going mobile warfare when you have no tanks? Because I want to have tanks in the future. And also, let's do some uh, modernization right now. Except I already did. So let's do mechanizing our army. That's what's up. All right, we can declare war against Greece. So, should we? Yes? I'm gonna save though, in case this is a terrible idea. Greece, war. Oh, the what am I gonna do? Save scum? So, I guess we'll have to live with this. I don't know, chat, what do you think? Declare war, uh... Declare war against Greece? Do it with a naval invasion. Um... Do I even have the strength to pull off a naval invasion? I can certainly try. Where would we land? Athens or... Shackless? Although maybe a naval invasion like here would be better and I can just roll up the entire north, like rather than go for the throat. weapons. Actually, I think I see what you're saying here. We could go from there to there. Meanwhile, let's get some generals in our army, because apparently I forgot to do that the entire time. Inflexible media personality and war hero. Sure. You guys, let's get you out here. How the, I almost got an admiral on there. I can't, for the life of me, remember how the hell to assign the missions. Do they just do stuff automatically? No, I gotta do down here. I got it. Strike force. Other strike force. So we got the coastal defense ships, we got the, uh, yeah, okay, great. Just gotta wait for these suckers to get in there. I like the idea of Turkish Marines, though. Let's see. Let's research Marines. I don't know. Czechoslovakia. Yeah, there it goes. Zog submits to Italy. Mechanizing our army. Alright, further down the Ottoman path. Let's do it. Oh, wait, no. We're not ready yet. yet. Okay, let's do Air Force stuff. And speaking of the Air Force... Let's move it to the new airbase. All right, so we got some Greek divisions there. Now I have really mixed successes getting naval uh, invasions to work, so we'll see what the hell. All right, naval invasion to, all right, from there to there 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 so we'll yeah I think I might work Kitsos one saying don't attack Greece now please I'm too tired to be enlisted uh, mm, no, sorry. 
should have thought about that before you tune into a Hearts of Iron Force stream. I mean, I kind of want to attack the port. That's usually what I do. But if I can't break through here, then having these guys at the port might not make a huge difference, because the whole Greek army is going to come right up here and, and destroy me. So better to cut off the border forces first, I think. Alright, extensive conscription, partial mobilization. The Republic of Gauzia has capitulated. Alright, fuck it. Let's invade Greece and see what happens. Alright, hopefully the UK won't declare war on me. God help us all. Oh, uh, is it gonna work? Yes, it did. It kinda did. We've trapped one division, I guess. Better than nothing. The Soviet Union wants us to join their faction. Uh, I don't think so. That's a bit much, but I'm happy to accept these uh, non-aggression packs. divisions still at home. And five infantry divisions right there. Let's get them up there. Yeah, the whole invading this territory isn't going so well. But at least we're holding them off. I'm about to lose everybody, aren't I? I think this was a bad idea, but let's try it on a bigger scale and hope that helps. Thirty-five days. We'll try another invasion. In the meantime, let's go already. They're completely cut off. How can they be still having such a good time? Oh my god! I didn't pay attention to that. Holy shit. I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Let's, uh. Really. Oh shit. Okay, apparently chat's been telling me. Should have told me louder, I guess. That's embarrassing. Okay, it's only a minor invasion. We're still good. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, I can't worry about India right now. There's too many other things going on. Okay, 
Like half the country is missing. Maybe the cavalry divisions are what I really need back here. Are those guys on their way yet? Nope, it's only 20 more days of planning. This is a national embarrassment. Oh no, I'm encircled. Oh God, fuck you, Greece. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch some stuff up here. Let's do naval invasion from there to here. Okay, it's going a bit. Now we're just walking. Okay, fine, whatever. At least this is still a mess. Okay, be aggressive. Uh, wait, no, not that one. Go, cavalry, go! Take everything, please! It's fine, this is all intended. Alright, let's, uh... Superiority of arms, sure. It does look like the cavalry is gonna save my ass here. Man, I can't believe Greece took half the country before I noticed. How embarrassing is that? Oh hey, but we're making some progress on this front. Some damn good progress. Look at this, it's all more or less kinda coming together after the horrible disaster of it all. Pushing into Greece, taking the country back. You love to see it. I think Greece might be out of supplies. Oh hey, and Spain is in Greece. That sucks. That was kind of our idea. I mean, we're doing all the fighting here, aren't we? I have lost 57,000 men. Oh my god. Don't don't tell anybody. This would have gone a bit better if I didn't have to like rescue my whole country. But no one saw it coming. 
Not even Twitch chat, regardless of what they might say. Uh, Alrizix saying after this, declare war with Spain. But then I'd be at war with the Soviet Union. And, uh, that wouldn't be good. In fact, that would be awful. Okay, the disaster has been re uh, reversed. Anyone can defeat the Greeks, but to defeat the Greeks after they've taken half your country, that is real tactics. We're just playing on ultra-realistic hard mode or something. Space person says, try to get the nation less on fire. Yes! That's, a. Uh, one of our priorities. Dorsil or Dorsir Viring Gring saying, This reminds me of the time I got stomped by Ukraine as Russia. Oh man, that's gonna be embarrassing. But look at this. Barely any of the country is occupied at all. I'm a genius. I did all the hard work, and of course Greece is going to take the credit. But, you know, that's life for you. We've researched armored spearhead, despite the fact we have no tanks, but that's beside the point. Let's research tanks. Oh, Doc or Irving work, says Dursal Ring. <laughs> okay. Doc, thanks, Doc. Look at this, we'll encircle these guys, and maybe if we're lucky, Spain will get decimated. And we can just move into the south, that would be great. But they seem to be doing okay so far. Maybe we should plan a naval invasion of Athens, that would be kind of interesting. Go from here to here. Brilliant strategists and war heroes, that's what we need. Alright, so we'll work on that. Yeah, don't help Spain, says Al Rizka. Agreed. Yeah, we'll let Spain hopefully wear themselves out against the Greeks. And then as soon as they do, we'll be ready. Look at that. Yeah, they're making good progress. Okay, great. This is some real politic right here, I guess. Kinda. Alright, so, if uh, Spain looks like they're losing, we'll invade from the north. If Spain looks like they're winning, we'll do a naval attack on Athens. And what can I research while we're waiting? I don't know. Better planes. does look like, uh, oh, no, maybe they got some, okay. Hard to tell which way this is going. But I'm slowly producing guns, and that's about it. How the hell can you possibly get a combined arms army as a smaller nation? 
I mean, maybe you can't, and that's the point. Poland refuses a German ultimatum. Well, I'm sure that it's going to go uh, great for him. Best of luck, Poland. We're all cheering for you. Except me, I guess, given that I'm aligning myself with the Germans. Oh shit, Spain may be out of it. Alrighty. Come on, Spain. Give it up. Hey, Poland's actually kind of holding on. I really want to uh, visit Poland, either this year or next. I'm really hoping that this December I can head up there. I've never traveled, really. Uh, and I got the chance to go to Hungary, and it was awesome. And I feel like Poland's probably awesome, too. Oh my god, the Japanese are attacking the Brits and the Americans. Just a mistake, I'm certain. All right, looks like Spain's almost on the way out. Operation, whatever the hell we're calling this, can proceed. We'll just let the last of them disappear for us. We'll move the planes up. Come on, Spain, get out of there. Only three territories left to go. Come on, Greece, do your thing. I suppose I maybe could just rush in now. Yes, I'm gonna do it. And let's also try that naval invasion at the same time. Maybe that'll work. Oh my god, took Athens. Who saw that one coming? I didn't. There was nobody home. Incredible. Ah, uh, they capitulated. Take all states. Yes, I think I would. I can't. Okay. Uh, well, let's start with. I don't know, uh, Athens, and just Athens? Like, Athens is going to be the prize, right? Okay. And then we'll try to connect them. Okay, already this is looking pretty good. Next up, I need these island territories. But I can't. So I'll take... Can't take anything. All right, pass. Looks like I'm going to be able to grab most of it. And Crete. Nope, can't get Crete. Still can't get Crete. Now I can get Crete. What is left? Is that everything? Looks like it. I don't see any more grease left. All right, cool. 
There it is. The Ottoman Sultanate looking pretty good. Hell yeah. And uh, what do we got going on here? We got... Oh, shit. We got a real Baltic alliance going on here against the Germans. That's kind of cool. But you know what, folks? I think that's where we got to leave it for today. Alrighty, let's save that sucker. Ottoman one. Man, that was really cool. That actually went a lot better than I was expecting it to. Uh, I, I'm not a very strong Hearts of Iron player, as you can see, for when Greece took over half the country when I wasn't paying attention. But uh, I'm super happy I was actually able to accomplish the goal. I mean, technically we're the ultimate Ottoman Sultanate, not the Ottoman Empire. Is there a way to go full empire? I don't know. But uh, we'll figure that out later. Even though tonight is done, of course, the streaming don't stop. What day is it? Wednesday? Yes, I'll be back on Friday with some more Suzerain. Uh, which is going awesome right now. We just passed our new constitution. We got it through both the National Assembly and the, uh, uh, the Supreme Court of the Republic of Swordland. If you're not familiar with Suzerain, tune in on Friday because that game is amazing. It's uh, the best political simulator I have ever seen with an amazing alternate world and all this cool backstory. It's uh, rad as shit. And then on Saturday, we got more Stellaris Invicta. You know how that's going by now. On Monday, we have Vermintide. Uh, for those of you excited for Darktide, this is that, but fantasy. And we've been having a really good time with the guys uh, from the Blunderdome in that. There's also really cool Twitch integration, so you can like cast lightning and shit at us. Uh, and then a week today, I figure we'll continue with this uh, this campaign since it's going so awesome. And uh, let's raid somebody before we end things for the night. Looks like Alex Damon is streaming. If you don't know Alex, uh, he is the guy behind Star Wars Explained, that awesome YouTube channel. And he's playing Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout. So let's all raid him. And uh, when we raid him, let's uh, have everyone yell, uh, congrats on your golden gas mask. That is an award that I gave him on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you should, because I did my own awards this year and it was really funny. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna raid Alex, everyone yell out, congrats on your golden gas mask. And uh, until next time, thanks so much for being here. All right, the raid is going, sign up if you want. Ugh. All right, see you next time, folks.